It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders. Coming up next. Commanders Field holds a little more than 80,000, and they have come out in droves here in Landover, Maryland. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And off we go in our nation's capital. Breaks through the contact. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete at the quarterback position, beats you with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in a position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. We'll have to see what kind of looks this defense is going to throw at him as this game moves along, but they're in a zone to start. I do think we'll see plenty of man coverage as we move along, but the first throw of this one, incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Daniels. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I think that was a pretty good read right there. They caught him in zone defense and went to the hitch. And because they're in zone, that creates a natural space between the defenders and the receiver, able to get it to him quickly and let him get upfield. Throwing now is Daniels. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 17 yards that time and a Washington first. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And there's Jaquan Brisker getting to him behind the line. Great play by the safety. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here now a third down and eight. To throw is Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 38-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give them 12 yards that time. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Daniels looking to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. Seven yards there and a first down. I'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the ten-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Back to Robinson now on first down. The nice footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. And the kick is good, and the Commanders out to a 7-0 lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading them out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way. First at Oklahoma. Then at USC, big-time talent, big-time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him, and now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. First carry for DeAndre Swift. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second down and four. Once again, it's Swift. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And Swift is not going to get there as they stop him short of the yellow line. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. 
An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right. Grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they'll start with a first and 10 at their own 20. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They've got the 7 0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Now Daniels. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To the air goes Daniels. Sets up the screen to Robinson. Oh, there's a nice move by Robinson. And he'll be out right at the 35. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. So nothing doing there, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second and 10. Off the play fake, Daniels escaping the press. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. And we clearly saw right there why the Bears went out and got Montez Sweat last season. He's a player who appears to be on an upward trajectory, and plays like that are certainly a big reason why. And this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 16. That is caught. Room to maneuver at the 35. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. A huge play there for Washington. 54 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal.
They'll run with Robinson. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. John Bates, a five-yard touchdown. And the Commanders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Off the play fake, it's Williams. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half. And he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield. So he took it upon himself to get them in the field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw, it's Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. The first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. So from the 25, this is second and five. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. To throw, Williams. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. 
as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Throwing is Williams. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll look to throw for it with Williams. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Roma Dunze, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Santos with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14-7. to so that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Washington going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Working out of the gun, Daniels. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that's complete to McCaffrey. Five yards, now it's third and five. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. It was a solid first half of football for the Alabama man, Brian Robinson. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. 
Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Yeah, he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the 29, here's a second and seven. This is Swift on the counter. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. To the air, Williams. And that's complete to the right side, it's Allen. And he's gonna be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging a little tapestry if you will oh i like it they will run straight ahead with swift looking for a cutback lane but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage he got maybe a half yard at most but officially they'll be left with a third and two now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter yeah but i don't think it's time to abandon the running game i would say keep feeding the horse and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Here's Daniels. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Back to throw. Daniels, he finds Robinson. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. 
Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one, but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I was just going to say, it is easier said than done, but that's where you may be buried at his feet. Make sure he doesn't catch it. Great, great call right there. Put it near the receiver. No grounding, nothing like that, but no one gets a chance to pick it off either. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. On the return, Carter. A 40-yard putt, five yards on the return. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. To the sideline and incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll go play action here with Williams. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And that went to the right side and incomplete. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. To throw is Daniels. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Play action. Now it's Daniels. There's a short one pulled in by Simmons. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 33 yards that time. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. 
not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. From the 33, here's a second down and six. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 29. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now they need two. Here's third down. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Commander's Field. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Robinson fighting but he won't get too far maybe a yard that's all down to the two only a yard that time second and goal I like that run right there partner not the flashiest run not the one that's going to break for big yardage but he understands the situation and taking care of the football paramount and he got it done nursing that slim lead you're exactly right hold on to that ball Robinson again pushing for the end zone but he's not going to get there they stop him just shy of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? And this time he is in. Yes. Brian Robinson, Jr., his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to A 10-play drive that time. And it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Chicago offense set to get started. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. 
Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. Here's Williams. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it. But he couldn't seal the deal. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make the play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game. But it winds up incomplete. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Caught by Allen. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. To the air once more, Williams. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Carter. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Back-to-back -back catches here for Carter. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Looking to throw is Williams. He'll get that one to Carter complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. We all speculated that this offense was going to be a lot more high-powered. And Adunze's drafting definitely puts it in that category. Explosive speed, refined routes, and last year he led college football in contested catches with 21. Throwing again here, Williams. Being chased out left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Dorrance Armstrong in there to get him. It's a loss of five. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Here's second down. To throw, it's Williams. He finds his man, complete. It's, the ball comes out, and this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bouncer, too, there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. Looking to throw, Williams. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. 
Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Second down, goal to go. Back to throw, Williams. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Carter, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. yeah. yeah, you know. Doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. That's a good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. Again, it's Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Robinson up the middle. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Third down and one. Out 
Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.